In an era where technological supremacy is as contested as the cold, hard territories of old, the latest gambit by the European Union to potentially align with the United States in scrutinizing the reliance on Chinese legacy chips is not just a geopolitical maneuver, it's a declaration of a silent war. This bold move, reminiscent of the chess plays that defined the Cold War, signals a readiness to challenge China's burgeoning dominance in the semiconductor industry, a sector as pivotal to modern economies as oil once was to the industrial age. Critics argue that this could be the match that ignites a new kind of conflict, a tech cold war where silicon is the weapon of choice and global supply chains are the battlefields. As accusations fly and sanctions loom, the question arises, are we witnessing the prelude to an economic standoff that could fracture the world as we know it? Or is this a necessary stand against a monopolization of technology that could leave much of the world at a strategic disadvantage, with tensions simmering and the stakes higher than ever, the EU and US venture into uncharted territory, risking not just the wrath of China but potentially alienating allies and disrupting the delicate balance of global trade amidst this storm of controversy. One thing is clear, the implications of these deliberations stretch far beyond the boardrooms and into the very fabric of our daily lives, affecting everything from the cars we drive to the phones in our pockets. So, as we delve deeper into this complex web of strategy, diplomacy, and technological prowess, we invite you to stay with us till the end. This isn't just a story of chips and tariffs, it's a narrative about power, sovereignty, and the future direction of our interconnected world. Hello and welcome back to Innovative Czech YouTube channel, where we delve into the innovative and transformative projects changing our world. If you're new to the channel and enjoy learning about innovation stories around the world, you've come to the right place. Please subscribe, like and comment to help boost our videos on YouTube. The notable development, the European Union is contemplating a formal inquiry into the prevalence of mature or lower-end chips from China within its industries, aligning with the United States and identifying potential national security and global supply chain risks. This contemplation by the EU to initiate an investigation into the extent to which such semiconductors are integrated into industrial networks emerges from a draft, working statement acquired by Bloomberg News. This initiative reflects a similar effort by the Biden administration to evaluate the dangers of depending on these chips. While not at the forefront of technology, these semiconductors are crucial for military applications and various sectors, including electric vehicles and infrastructure. Just a quick reminder to hit the like button below. YouTube has been restricting my videos a lot recently because of bots, so your like does help out this video massively in terms of the algorithm in YouTube. A survey by the European Commission could represent an initial step towards collaborative actions with the U.S. potentially involving restrictions or other limitations. The U.S. expresses concerns over the increasing Chinese investments in this sector, fearing it might enable Chinese firms to dominate the market, similarly to their positions in the solar and steel industries. The EU and US will persist in gathering and exchanging non-confidential data and market intelligence concerning non-market policies and practices, promising to consult one another. On upcoming actions, the draft outlines, it further suggests the possibility of developing joint or cooperative measures to counteract the distortionary impacts on the global supply chain for legacy semiconductors. This discussion is prompted by the backdrop of the Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Co. KSO Museum of Innovation in Hsinchu showcasing semiconductor wafers, where TSMD reported a sixth consecutive quarter of record sales. This surge is driven by the ceaseless demand from Apple Inc. and other clients for chips produced by the world's most extensive foundry. Amid these developments, China faces criticism for its overcapacity and is urged to revise its industrial policies. The investment by China into chip manufacturing, aimed at boosting supply, has sparked concerns in both Europe and America about potential market distortions and critical dependencies. The upcoming EUS summit next month plans to address this potential assessment among its agenda items. As per the draft statement, the summit aims to extend collaborative efforts on an early warning system to detect supply chain disruptions and a platform for sharing information about public support for the semiconductor sector. Additionally, the summit will emphasize a risk-based approach to artificial intelligence, ISI, the development of a framework for evaluating generative AI models and cooperation on shared principles and standards 
for the research and development of 60 wireless communication systems. It also aims to harmonize efforts on enforcing trade restrictions on Russia following its invasion of Ukraine and to exchange information on investment screening and export controls. Furthermore, there's a call for technology companies and online platforms to maintain information integrity, especially leading up to global elections, and to assist nations in the Western Balkans in developing their responses to foreign interference and information manipulation. If you are enjoying this video so far, please don't forget to subscribe, share the video and comment. The call for a unified front between the EU and the U.S. against the backdrop of global technological tensions highlights the intricate balance of international trade, security, and technological sovereignty as the EU contemplates joining forces with the U.S. to scrutinize the reliance on Chinese legacy chips. This move underscores a broader strategy to mitigate vulnerabilities in critical supply chains and to counteract potential geopolitical leverage exerted through technological dominance, the implications of such a collaboration extend beyond immediate supply chain security, suggesting a deeper commitment to fostering a resilient global semiconductor ecosystem by considering joint measures against the backdrop of China's growing influence in the semiconductor industry. The EIU and the U.S. signal their readiness to address what they perceive as distortive practices that threaten to undermine the competitive integrity of global markets. This initiative is part of a broader agenda aimed at enhancing transatlantic cooperation in the face of emerging technological challenges. The draft statement from the upcoming UAC House conference suggests a multifaceted approach incorporating not only supply chain security, but also the development of shared standards and principles for future technologies. This includes the pursuit of aligned strategies in artificial intelligence, AI, and 6D wireless communication systems, indicating a forward-looking stance on the part of both entities to shape the trajectory of technological advancement and its governance. Moreover, the emphasis on a cooperative framework for enforcing trade restrictions on Russia in response to its military actions in Ukraine reflects a strategic alignment in addressing geopolitical challenges through technological and economic measures. This approach is complemented by efforts to enhance mechanisms for investment screening and export controls, reinforcing the notion that technology policy is increasingly becoming a critical component of national security strategies. The draft statement also highlights a concerted effort to uphold information integrity on technology platforms, especially in the context of electoral processes. This initiative acknowledges the pivotal role of digital platforms in shaping public discourse and the importance of safeguarding against misinformation and foreign interference by extending support to nations in the Western Balkans to develop their capacities to counteract information manipulation, the EU and U.S. demonstrate an understanding of the global nature of technological threats and the need for collaborative defense mechanisms. As these discussions unfold, the global community watches closely, recognizing that the outcomes of the EUS summit could set precedents for how democratic societies navigate the complexities of technological interdependence in an increasingly multipolar world. The focus on legacy semiconductors, while specific, serves as a microcosm of the broader challenges and opportunities that lie at the intersection of technology, security, and international cooperation. Thank you for your attention, and I welcome your thoughts and questions on this complex and vital subject. Do you want to watch more videos like this one? If yes, please like and share the video and subscribe to get exclusive videos about how phenomenally China is developing and growing its influence. Your subscriptions and likes motivate us to generate more content, so please keep supporting us. Check out this video showing on your screen right now, and I will see you on the other side.